said the two new WFISD high schools will either be a legacy leopard or a memorial maverick. And now that mascots are selected, WFISD officials say they know everyone's maybe not pleased with the selections made. Markeisha Jackson was able to spend some time today with the superintendent and others in this community about the decision. She joins us now with our top story. Well, after months of delays, discussions and heated debates, many residents are just glad to be moving on. It's a decision that's been several months in the making. Wichita Falls Memorial High School Mavericks and the Wichita Falls Legacy High School Leopards um, is uh, um, something that students seem to be pretty excited about. You heard right. The mascots for the two new WFISD high schools have been chosen. Students attending Memorial High School will be the Mavericks and students attending Legacy High School will be the Leopards. A decision that was made by current WFISD students. And WFISD Superintendent Mike Kurt says he's glad they've reached this point in the process. From the beginning, um, we discussed that three years ago, probably 2018, maybe even before that, um, that, that, that these would be two new high schools with two new traditions and two new mascots and two new colors, and we would let children decide because um, it's their schools. But not everyone is pleased with these choices. For months now, alumni of Old High have been speaking out in favor of saving the Coyotes and using it as the mascot for at least one of the new schools. Very disappointed, very disappointed. We would greatly have appreciated the opportunity to have the Coyotes as just an option for the kids to vote on. David Gray is a 1973 graduate of Old High and says he doesn't approve of how the district conducted the mascot selection process. And seeing the Coyotes left behind has been heartbreaking. A coyote is a minimum of 98 years old. I mean, they, they found a yearbook from 1926 that had the Coyote on the front and the legacy and history statewide. A legacy that Kurt says will always be honored, but that it's time for this generation of students to create new legacies in their new schools. And I appreciate the passion that people have. Um, there's a long standing history um, here in Wichita Falls and, um, and we're gonna try our best to memorialize um, the legacies of our schools that we've had. There's a lot of discontent with the school board. You know, a lot of, lot of stuff going on. Uh, I don't think that will cease. On my part, it won't cease. A decision that will be talked about for years to come. Now, Superintendent Kurt, Mike Kurtz shared that students began voting on colors for the schools today, and the district should have those final results in the coming days. I think people are glad to just see that the decision has been made, for I mean, sure. I, yes, I, I'll bet so many people, and I can't wait to see what those colors are going to be. Me too. Okay, yeah. Markeisha, thanks so much. Well,